I'm Evan Cabinet. I'm the director of All American. Hi, I'm Julia Brownell. I'm the playwright who wrote All American. What I enjoy the most about working with emerging writers and new plays is uh, uh, feels like flying without a net, right? The playwright is still learning uh, about their own voice in a way, and also, um, quite simply, the play has never been done before. And when you're writing on someone else's TV show in a way you're trying to emulate their voice, not your own, you know, um, and there is something to be said for <laughs> the fact that my play is not going to get rewritten as it does in <laughs> as it does in television. Now I do like writing for television, um, but to put it quite simply, um, there uh, it, uh, it, it it's quite a joy to be able to have my own voice out there. Also, um, there seems to be more time, the luxury of time in the rehearsal room. Um, so. You know, when you're on set, it's very quick, you know, the filming has to be done, whereas um, it's really fun to work with the director and the actors in a more extended rehearsal process and to be able to really learn about the play while the play is on its feet, as opposed to learning about something in the writer's room. For a director, um, sort of playing off what she was saying in terms of the playwright's voice, um, so much of it has to do with acting as a vessel and sort of helping the playwright figure out what they want without overstepping, right? Without throwing out ideas that are not theirs, or at least if you do throw out ideas, that they are with the caveat that it's not, that this is just a for instance. Evan and I had never met or worked together before. Um, he got this play and called me about it uh, a little less than a year ago and we chatted about it. And immediately I knew that he understood the play. I uh, I'm a tomboy. I grew up playing a lot of sports, uh, as did my brothers, um, and I always wanted to write a play about sports, uh, and I wanted to write a play about someone who comes to a point in their life where they don't know what to do next and they don't know what will make them happy. I think that's something that a lot of people can relate to, not being quite sure what can make you happy. And the shelf life of professional athletes really fascinated me, the idea that you retire at 35 and the dream that you've been chasing, the passion that you've been chasing, whatever is your whole life, is suddenly over. And what do you do next? So two of our two of our six have played football. Um, uh, one of the, one was a running back, one was a tight end. Um, uh, both played in high school in the South, uh, where they take it very, 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 very seriously. So um, we have two, you know, on-site coaches that have been <laughs> really, really helpful. Um, uh, and I grew up in, 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 in sort of a rabid football fan family. Also, Julia and I spoke with a retired football player um, uh, a couple of months ago who's been instrumental in talking sort of spe specifically about the Mike character and what he's going through as a retiree. Uh, the character of Katie, played by Meredith Forlenza, Meredith is a very athletic person but had never played football. And so, quite simply, we just started teaching her. We taught her the mechanics of throwing, we taught her the rules of the game, we taught her all of the jargon and lingo, the terminology. And so that's, that's what the process has been uh, uh, from Go. And Meredith is, is one of the most determined, enthusiastic, committed actors you'll ever meet. And so she's come a really long way in a really short amount of time, and it's been really exciting to watch. Emerging writers like Julia, um, they are all uh, um, heart and energy and excitement and so there's something um, exciting about working with uh, a young or emerging writer in, in that um, uh, and that we're all sort of learning um, about the playwright's process and about the finished product together. I'm an Eagles fan and she's a Patriots fan <laughs> and so that's that could be a recipe for disaster <laughs> but somehow we make it work.